Welcome back to our video series on inspiration for D&D and DTRPG Adventures Part 4. In this episode, we'll be looking at Threshold Guardians. Now, if you're not familiar with the term, Threshold Guardians are basically challenges like enemies or obstacles that stand between your players and their goals. They can be used to add excitement and suspense to your game. And today, we're going to show you how you can use them. What are your Threshold Guardians? See you on the other side. I'm Baba Tucker. And I'm Jackson Dean Chase, and together we're Magegate Games. If you like role-playing games and rolling dice, you're in the right place. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. Today, we're talking about Threshold Guardians. What, what the heck is a Threshold Guardian? <laughs> um, uh, um, what? <laughs> what does that even it's mean? you carry your wife across the threshold, right? You know, right, you right, right. Right, exactly. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, the... Uh, you know, vampires. Vampires right. can't vampires. cross that threshold. Right. So, oh, so a threshold is the crossover place to get to the other side of some sort of uh, event, right? Some sort of uh, other happening, right? Be a home. Right, right. So, so uh, yeah, today we're talking about, you know, uh, gates or, you know, monsters or people or the factions, uh, things that of block you or uh that you would interact before or during the adventure uh that gives it a little more spice a little more oomph to what's happening so jackson you had some ideas about that uh and i really like it. i want to hear about it so okay. now, why don't you tell us about it yeah so i had this great idea and i was so excited to share it with uh, our community and what it is, is it's a way to uh, expand, like create a multi-layered approach to whatever your dungeon of the week is. Um, instead of just the players going to the dungeon, right? And going into the dungeon and blah, blah, whatever, the usual. Place something outside the dungeon. And it could be uh, interacted with perhaps like in the town that they start in, you know, or and, and then uh, follows them to the location, or it could be uh, something they find at the location. And what I mean by that is it could be a, uh, let's say that there's a group of people who worship what's inside the dungeon. Maybe the thing in the dungeon doesn't care and eats anybody, but for some reason these people think, uh, hey, we've got a great idea for a new crazy religion and let's uh, worship this uh, horrible thing that occasionally comes out and eats us. But uh, or these are the, we'll give it these handy adventurers that keep showing up, and we'll uh, feed it to them, or feed them to it rather. Uh, <laughs> and so now you got to deal with this cult that's outside, and then maybe they build up some defenses, or maybe they uh, pretend to be friendly, you know. Uh, maybe they're looking to recruit. Who knows? Um, it doesn't have to be a cult. It could be a barbarian tribe, right? And maybe they buried their honored dead inside, uh, you know, the tomb or whatever you're trying to get into the dungeon. And they don't want you to go in there, you know, because the treasure that you will be uh, robbing from that dungeon belongs to their ancestors. And they need that to, uh, you know, do whatever they do in the afterlife, right? They need that gold and those weapons and, and all that stuff. Uh, so now you've got to deal with all these angry barbarians. Wonderful. Um, or maybe the place is supposed to be cursed or haunted or whatever, and you got a uh, bunch of zealots out there, like paladins, witch hunters, clerics, and stuff, and they're, you know, saying, oh, no, you can't go into this place. It's cursed. If you go in there, you know, if you try and get past us, we're going to try and stop you, uh, and if you do manage to get past us and you go in there, we're not going to let you back out because you will be cursed. Or maybe, right... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a complete uh, charade and they're not really paladins and it's all like some kind of weird scam like a thief uh, scam where they're like oh yeah no th this place is cursed and anyone who goes in there is cursed but we know the secret you know to undoing the curse it's not a regular remove curse spell all right it's only this holy special ritual that we can do, <laughs> right? Because we've done the research. We know what we're, we, we know. And so you got to like, you know, pay us for this service, you know? And uh, yeah, that's going to be like half the treasure. And we don't have to go in there and deal with any of this stuff, but uh, hey, you do. That's great. And that's why you get to keep half. 
<laughs> right? Um, yeah. So, yeah, right? There's all yeah. kinds of stuff. Or, or there could be um, like a you show up at the dungeon just as another rival adventuring group shows up. You guys right. got all the information at the same time. Uh, and they're like, hey, yeah, no, maybe we don't want to share, you know? Right. Or maybe they agree to share and then eh, eh, stab you in the back right at an opportune moment. Uh, or maybe uh, somebody uh, hears that you're looking for this treasure and they decide, hey, let's follow them and then, uh, you know, uh, ambush them when they come out of the dungeon. Right. Or, um, yeah, there's there's just all kinds of, uh, or, or it could be a merchant. There could be a merchant outside, right? I know you love your merchants. <laughs> <So> <laughs> there could be like some guy hanging outside the dungeon, you know, a tinker or something with his cart and horse and everything and maybe, you know, some uh, henchman. And, uh, yeah, hey, yeah, oh, yeah, that place is really dangerous, you know, uh, you, you're gonna need some healing potions. I've got the best healing potions, and it's the only healing potions that you're gonna be able to get, right? Because uh, I'm the only merchant for miles, so, uh, yeah, you should buy these healing potions, and, oh, like, uh, and you drink the healing potion, right? And it turns out it's like a sleep knockout drug or something, and he comes along and, like, steals all your stuff. Uh, or uh, and maybe seals you in the dungeon i don't know or you had an idea didn't you for the gear oh yeah 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 <laughs> there was like an adventuring group goes goes before but you kind of know that adventuring group too and you hear the rumors oh somebody asked oh that they, they've been missing for a few days and you have to go get them uh you know go find out and uh you know what happened and as you go and you see the uh, you know merchants all set up uh, you go. Oh wow. Uh, that that gear kind of looks like uh one of the people we know. Uh, you know that. Oh yeah, they they had to sell it. Uh, because you know it's hard times and they needed some other things, so it was a good trade. Uh, but that I I think that was their grandfather's, right? I don't think they would sell that. Oh oh no no really hard times. Is that is that blood on it? <laughs> Oh, uh, let me show you my other wares. This is <laughs> you're getting confused with with this thing. Um, yeah, obviously some nefarious stuff. Uh, yeah, I like, I I do like that idea a lot of uh setting up something to where either the rumors might have been coming from this merchant to get people to go in, or if even if it's like a uh you know tied to a larger faction like necromancers or something like that they're trying to feed these like stronger souls in there so they can have like stronger uh minions or you know undead to to use uh in their nefarious schemes and stuff so yeah i love i love uh that idea <laughs> a lot yeah. so yeah 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 um i also oh. like oh go ahead yeah no 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 go ahead oh <laughs> uh, all right uh the um the idea that you were you were saying that it could be a, a ghost, you know, out in front. I love that. They we like a possessing the people telling them to turn back. <laughs> but you know, you but I need this and maybe you can find the dead body inside and uh they could be like, Yeah, don't don't touch it. <laughs> don't mind don't mind those stains. <laughs> that I was brave <laughs> before I died. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know they they could be uh you know warn the players uh especially if you felt like maybe this this dungeon was a little bit like or or whatever place that, that they're going um is a little bit higher than their level or you know to help uh get give them some clues about something but yeah like i really like that idea of uh things that can help them achieve their goal within the adventure it doesn't really take away from their play, but give something interesting at the same time. Uh, so yeah, like that, I love, you know, spirits are always great, but how would you connect that to them? Or, you know, with, like how they would react to it or a possession, right? Some, sure, the uh, demon really wants you to come in here and you think it's a really good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know the, the priest outside said, don't touch anything except for this thing. <laughs> uh <laughs> And, uh, you know, good thing that cult leader <laughs> acting as a priest, <laughs> the only thing you're not supposed to touch is that thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, great ways to get cursed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but you were saying you were going to say, oh, I was going to say, um, 
that uh, one of my favorite uh, times uh, uh, playing first edition was uh, the Hidden Shrine of Tomoe Chan, an Aztec temple in the jungle. And I got shipwrecked, and the people who sank my boat then saw that I'd escaped and started chasing me into the jungle. And where did I have to run? Oh, into the dungeon. Wonderful. But I couldn't like stop to like look for secret doors or anything. I had to run for my life because I had all these jerks chasing me and they wanted to chop off my head. And so I, I couldn't, I didn't want to fight any monsters because I would lose hit points and lose time. And then, you know, finally I ran into a monster that I couldn't, you know, uh, uh, avoid. And I, Use diplomacy. I said, hey, you don't understand. I'm not here to, like, mess with your stuff. And, you know, but these guys behind me, they want to kill me. And that means they're going to kill you because they're killing everything they come across in here. You know, how about we uh, have an alliance, you know? And uh, so, yeah. And then they got the the bad guys showed up and the monster and I fought them. And then I, like, uh, you know, took a few steps back and a few more steps back. And then, like, "Ah, see you later. I took right. off, and then they had to deal with the monster all by themselves, and, you know, I mean, it was a monster. Come on. It was going <laughs> to eat me afterward, probably. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I finally, it was the most fun I ever had in, in a dungeon because, you know, I, it was terrifying, right? right? It's not like the leisurely stroll, you know, and I didn't have time to check for pit traps. I didn't have time for secret doors, as I said, and there was, there was no time to, like, you know, take an inventory of the treasure or anything. It's like I was lucky to get anything that I could scoop up, and I didn't, couldn't carry too much because it would slow me down. Right. So, yeah, and I, by the time I got out the back of the temple, there were only a few of the bad guys left, and I was able to finish them off. And then, of course, now I'm still, like, stuck in a jungle somewhere. That <laughs> 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 was not where I was trying to go. So that's, but that's another story, but uh, right. that can add a lot of spice to, to, a, to a dungeon, you know, yeah. especially if you're yeah. not like, if the dungeon's like, eh, whatever, you know, you, you could, you could like ratchet it up and the players are going to love it. And they're going to remember this adventure forever because it's not like the regular, oh, okay, we went to the place and did the thing and then left. No, nope, right. we went to the place before we could even get in the place. What the hell is going on? <laughs> and then, right. Get in there and what the hell is going? Why? Why is this happening? Or, right. or like they seal you in the dungeon, right? The guys mm. outside seal you in. It's like, oh, you're cursed now. Okay, we gotta like seal this place up for the good of humanity. Right. Uh, and uh, you know, you, then you can do a uh, you know a timer, you know, for how long before they seal the place off. Um, and uh, or you got to find another way out. And right. maybe there's a way out, and maybe there isn't. Hope you can teleport. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe there's an anti-magic uh, thing going over the dungeon and you can't teleport out right yeah. yeah i was thinking about at the entrance of whatever it is right so that we're at this threshold and the only way to enter is if you leave or sacrifice something or you know give something of yourself or your right of, of this thing uh, maybe you can't enter if you have armor on, right? Maybe you can't enter with weapons or something like that, right? Where you create this this sense of like, oh, wow, this is this is gonna be harder than I thought. <laughs> um, okay, how do how do I how do I get away with getting in here? But we need to get in here, right? It's it's right, it's course. critical, right? Um, and and even even those things like you know, and I, I would uh, I do have some you know ideas of things that like uh going into the spirit realm or you know going into the, this thing that uh you can't carry in certain weapons or you can't do that because you know uh for example like fey world if you had any iron you got to leave it behind right because this is gonna like you know drive them crazy and they will attack you or you know so you got to leave this stuff behind but how do you mitigate that the you know players from you know feeling that or okay, maybe a spirit could give you certain traits. They could give you certain uh, abilities to uh, be able to actually handle yourself. And it gives it gives your players another way of playing sometimes. Like if yeah. you're feeling like stale with like, oh yeah, I'm just being a fighter all the time. I've, you know, I think it's kind of cool that, you know, casting spells once in a while, you know, I kind of want to do that or, <laughs> you know, like something like that or the druid transforming into, you know, this type of beast and, Oh, maybe we can all do that. <laughs> Let's all transform. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's 
that's kind of a, a, a cool idea. There was also another idea uh, is the old uh, first edition infamous classic Tomb of Horrors mm. had three mm. different entrances, if I remember correctly, to the dungeon. And only one of them was real. And the other two were trapped. And one of them like had a cave in. Great. <laughs> so <laughs> now you're buried under like hundreds of feet of earth. And uh, yeah, good times. I don't remember what the other trap was, but I'm sure it was equally horrible. Uh, and then if you get in there, then it was, of course, filled with traps. But we all we all remember the Tomb of Horror, <laughs> so we can forget. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So there's all kinds of ways uh, you can uh, spice up your game with these uh, thresholds. Um, you know, you could look at a you could look at your dungeon, your map, or whatever whatever inspiration you're you're drawing upon for your adventure, and think about like uh, what are some other what are the people or creatures or traps or challenges that are at the threshold you know that would make a good fit for you know thematically uh with your game or with that particular location uh you know backstories uh and maybe it has something to do with the big bad uh, you know super villain of the campaign maybe it doesn't um but uh yeah there's lots of ways to uh, tie the stuff in if you want cool very cool thank you so much <laughs> all right everybody yeah <laughs> Uh, so yeah, spice up your game with uh, Threshold Guardians, monsters or traps or anything like that. Come up with ideas to make it, uh, you know, what are those rumors or do other people know those rumors and who would, who else would be there? Uh, think you know, religious groups or other factions that, you know, like to, uh, <laughs> that you would like to mess with your groups or even you get, you can even have uh, the group of adventurers like that's where they camp out is in front of this uh you know this tomb to make sure nobody else comes in front and maybe it's like a defense type of thing as well they are the threshold uh to other things right like they can't get in got to make sure we <laughs> defeat all the things before they come in um yeah really could be fun <laughs> yeah. all right uh yeah thank you so much we'll see you in the next video um see you <laughs> If you'd like to see more things like this, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon. If you feel like supporting us and helping us bring more things to you and our community through the MageGate, go ahead and check out our links in the description below and join our Patreon. If you haven't picked up your free Heirloom Magic Item PDF, go ahead and check out our website where you can get that for free. Uh, thank you so much again and see you in another video.